one of the hottest trends on YouTube right now is ordering these random mystery boxes from complete strangers on the deep web and opening them on camera. I don't know why I didn't realize a clear majority of these videos are fake and staged for their fear factor, but I didn't. I thought it was a great idea and hopped on the bandwagon to claim my YouTube stardom that I desperately longed for. For those who don't know a lot about the deep web, it's simply a part of the internet that isn't accessible from your basic Chrome, Firefox or Explorer search engines. You must download the encryption program Tor and the Tor browser for starters. It's not illegal to access this part of the internet, but since it's anonymous, a great deal of illegal actions happen here. The possibilities are endless. I grab my laptop I've had since I graduated in 2011 and download the required programs. I prefer to use my laptop over my desktop in case of viruses and such. My seven-year-old laptop is a little more, well, disposable. Now, I had a little Bitcoin phase a few years ago when it was blowing up, so I had a little saved already. It, it wasn't much, only one Bitcoin, which translates to roughly $632, but it was enough for what I was looking for. After the downloads were finished, I opened the browser and started my journey at the hidden wiki website. They provide a lot of useful links to get you started on the deep web. I scrolled through the warnings and gists of what it was and found the links I was looking for. Oh, almost forgot, I muttered to myself as I grabbed the duct tape from my desk drawer. I cut a tiny square piece off the end and placed it over my webcam. Yeah, call me paranoid, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. I clicked on the first link and waited what seemed like forever for the page to load. It was another very plain page with a list of popular websites that you could scroll through on the side. I continued my search through the web links until I found a page dedicated to mystery boxes. I wanted to find one at around $500, so people knew I meant business on my channel. These were relatively small, staying at around the 0 0.0125 to 0 0.05 Bitcoin range. I was worried about being scammed. I decided to continue my search after a quick bathroom break. When I came back, I noticed my cursor was off to the side and was able to click on a link that must have matched the background color of the web page because, well, I couldn't see it. I indulged my curiosity and hit the link. I was taken to a pitch black page with small white text near the top. I'm selling one random package to anyone brave enough to receive it for only 0.12 Bitcoin, OBO. Only one, huh? I thought to myself. Ah, I'll shoot my shot. I hit the small payment button and was asked how much I'd like to spend. I entered 0.1 Bitcoin with fingers crossed. The payment went through without any hesitation, and I was instantly met with a chat box asking where I'd like my package sent. Oh, I know this wasn't a good idea, and I regret it to this day. But the other YouTube channels use their own address often, so I thought nothing of it. I gave them my home address. I waited over a month for the box to come in. 36 days to be exact. It arrived directly on my front porch and was wrapped numerous times in red tape. <coughs> I set my camera on the tripod and adjusted it to show me and the box on this small wooden table. I draped a sheet in the background so <laughs> it looked a little more professional. I collect some gloves and scissors so I can bang the video out in one go. Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's vlog. Boy do I have a surprise for you. I continue my monologue, mentioning how I got the box and how much I paid. <gasps> Without wasting further time, let's open this deep web mystery box. I grab the scissors and cut along the red tape. I make sure my gloves are on tight and I rip the box open. My brow furrows as I see just one book. Without saying a word, I take the book out of the box. I was pretty pissed. I'd spent over $600 on a book. Whew. Well, folks, looks like we got us a dud. These pages better be made of gold. 
The outside of the book was old and tattered, and it smelled of mildew and mold. I cracked the book open to the first page and glanced over the contents. Ugh, it's an old photo album. Ugh, smells of old rot. Let's look at these pictures. I show the camera a view of the page's contents. It has four pictures on the first page, all labelled by days. The first picture said day one, the second day two, and so on. The pictures were taken with an old Polaroid camera. There were pictures of airplanes, random suitcases, a couple of taxis, and some pretty shady motels. Ooh, looks like someone's old travel photos. I continued flipping through the pages. Every day was a different photo of nature or cars or trains. Day 18 held the oddest photo yet. It was just of a mask, handcuffs, a gag, and a bottle of some sort of drug, it looked like. Ooh, these people have one hell of a fetish. I try to keep the video interesting. I zoom into the picture with the camera so everyone can see it. Around... Day 32, things started getting weird. There was a picture of a house, but not just any house. It was the house I grew up in, my parents' house. My hand covered my mouth as I gasped for air. What? what? How is this? I'm unable to form a sentence. I'm at a loss of words. Day 33. I turn the page and see a man and a woman handcuffed and gagged. I immediately expel the contents of my stomach as I see my own mum's scared and crying face and my dad face first in a pile of what looked like black tar. Day 34. This photo is taken inside what looks like a vehicle. I focus my gaze to the dashboard, where a small photo is barely visible. It's an old school photo of me. They're in my dad's truck. Day 35. Another house, but this one is much smaller. The photo is too blurry to make out and the details. My hands are trembling and all I can hear is my heartbeat pounding in my ears. I flip to the last page. I immediately throw the book to the ground and run to the window. I jiggle the hatch frantically and throw it open. Without hesitation, I jump out and run to the neighbours. As I'm running, I turn around for a brief second. What I saw me haunts me to this day. A tall, hooded figure stood in my room, looking at me through the window. He stood motionless, before lifting his hand and waving. I screamed for my neighbour, who hurried me inside and called the cops. I sat and just cried. I cried out of fear for my life. I cried for my parents. I cried because it was all my fault. My lack of common sense got my parents killed, and I will have to live with that forever. If you access the deep web, do not release any personal information. Even if people on YouTube do it, most of it's not real. And always check your boxes. It would have saved me a lot of trouble if I would have noticed the box I received had no tracking sticker on it. It was hand-delivered.